Commissioner Mormon for getting this done. Thanks for everyone for being here. If you haven't already done so, if you would, please silence your phones. Uh, I want to uh, first uh, acknowledge some people that are here today. Let me get the right paper out. Uh, we have uh, State Representative Briscoe Kane from House District 128, State Representative Marianne Perez from House District 144, Vince Ryan, our County Attorney, Angelina Gooden, a judge in the 280th District Court, um, and I didn't tell you who I was. I'm Lewis Rigby, I'm Mayor of City of LaPorte. Uh, Michelle Bechtel, Mayor of Morgan's Point, uh, Jeff Wagner, Mayor of City of Pasadena, Nancy Ojeda, uh, City of LaPorte Council person, Tommy Ginn, City Council member, City of Deer Park, Bill Patterson, City Council member, City of Deer Park, Ray Sinor, City Council member, City of Deer Park, and it's good to have all these council members from Deer Park right here in LaPorte, so we appreciate it. Uh, we have Beverly Ferguson representing Congressman Brian Babin. Lolita Guerrero representing Senator Sylvia Garcia, and Ron Service representing Judge Ed Emmett. We have Don McDonald representing Representative Dennis Paul, and we'd also like to recognize Joe Castillo, Chief of Planning and Delivery for Harris County Parks. We also have some dignitaries that we want to recognize, uh, Albert Seguin and all the Juan Seguin descendants. Thank you, sir. Arthur Stanley and Gene Smith, Nathaniel Lynch, descendants. Sergio Iguez is a descendant of Don Pedro Flores, a soldier who fought under Juan Seguin. Members of the Sons of the Republic of Texas, Sydney Sherman chapter. Members of the Daughters of the Republic of Texas, Seth Huron Bates chapter. We also have with us the reenactment members of the Texas Army. Now, having said that, uh, there's going to be some loud noises here when we finish. Uh, there'll be some musket fire, but there's also going to be cannon fire. So we have some earplugs. If you've not gotten your earplugs, if you raise your hand, someone will bring you a set. So it is going to get loud. So let's give all our dignitaries a round of applause. We will also want to thank the Harris County Sheriff's Office for providing traffic control and ensuring the event goes safely. We'd like to thank Landscape Art for providing snacks and refreshments. And remind everyone that the shuttle going back and forth to the battleship will end at 1130. So if you're going to eat over here at the Monument Inn, Harris County Precinct 2 Commissioner January 1st, 2011 after winning a, an historic election. He was re-elected in 2014 to serve a second four-year term. He's a Deer Park native. He represents a million residents in East and Northeast Harris County. He also serves as Harris County Representative on the HGAC Board of Directors. He's a graduate of Baylor University and Baylor, Baylor University Law School and had a private law practice before winning the commissioner's race in November 2010. Commissioner Mormon and his wife Andy are high school sweethearts, Deer Park natives, and they have two children, daughter Jordan and son Trey. Ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner Jeff, uh, Jackson. Thank you, Mayor Rigby, for introducing me and for emceeing our events today. I really appreciate it. So, pretty incredible, isn't this? Man, I have to take my hat off to uh, Clark Condon Associates for the incredible design and landscape art for bringing it to light. I, know, I want to mention a couple of people in particular, Sheila Condo and Mary Kylers and Kevin Arp and Fabio Oriana uh, for all of their hard work in particular. So thank you all so much. So this park has been a long time in the coming, 14 years to be precise. When the county purchased the land in 2004, we knew it was meant to be much more than just an empty green space. 
we knew this area could be something special. 11 months ago, we broke ground on an undeveloped, underused park, and today we're having a ribbon cutting for one of the best parks in all of Harris County. Yeah, why not? Woo! Wansagin Park will honor one of the great heroes of the Texas Revolution and as a senator to the Republic of Texas. We wanted to tie in all the history along Independence Parkway from the Battleship Texas, the Battleground site, the Lynchburg Ferry, and David G. Burnett Park just across the channel. It may have taken us several years, but we wanted to do it right, and I have to say that we nailed it. And when I say we, that includes a long list of people, not only the, those folks that I just mentioned, but I especially want to thank the folks over at TPW Texas Parks and Wildlife uh, for their partnership in this project and for allowing us to work on this site. Uh, John Blunt uh, and the County Engineer's Office and his staff for shepherding this project to get us where we are today. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank Janet Wagner and Alice Seguin uh, for offering their knowledge of Texas history and helping us put some special touches into this park. I hope we did Colonel Seguin proud and that those who visit are able to walk away with a better appreciation for him and our history. Uh, Mayor already mentioned this, but I'm very thrilled and honored to have Al and the descendants of Colonel Seguin here with us today to help celebrate and honor him and his legacy. So thank y'all for being with us today as well. So with that, I'm gonna wrap it up because I can't wait to open up this park. And I just wanna once again say thank you to everyone that helped make, turn this idea into a reality. So thank you very much. Mayor? And at this time, I'd like to ask Representative Marianne Perez to come up and read a proclamation. introduce to you Albert Seguin. He is the fourth great-grandson of Colonel Juan N. Seguin. He is a member of the San Jacinto Descendants, the San Jacinto Conservancy, the Sons of the Republic of Texas, the Alamo Battlefield Association, the Canary Islanders Association, and the former Texas Rangers Association. He is in consideration for membership in the Sons of the American Revolution Organization, and in 18, uh, excuse me, 1985, he founded the Seguin Family Historical Society to promote and preserve Texas history. He felt that his family, extended family, and the general public needed to know the contributions of a great native Texan. He has coordinated the annual Juan Seguin Celebration of Life in Seguin, Texas for the last 28 years. He loves Texas history, in particular the history of his ancestors who have been in Texas since 1712. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Albert Seguin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good morning. What a beautiful day for preserving Texas history. On behalf of the Seguin and related families, we extend our sincerest appreciation to Harris County Commissioner Jack Mormon for contributing to the preservation of Texas history. The dedication of this park is a well-received honor in memory of a native-born son and Texas hero. Seguin was born in Spanish Texas, as was his father and great-grandfather before him. He grew up knowing the value of liberty, justice, and personal freedoms. Juan was an honest, hard-working man with a progressive family involved in farming and ranching. They were the first family to experiment in growing cotton in Texas. The Seguins were a political family with emphasis on public service. As a young boy, Juan helped his mother, Senora Seguin, 
teach young children to read and write. Mrs. Seguin was one of the few persons that could both read and write. She felt that all children should have the same opportunity. Classes were held in an old mission, long abandoned but not yet recognized as a historic Texas landmark. Mission San Antonio de Valero, known as the Alamo. Seguin was the first to sound the alarm of danger to Texas and its citizens from Santa Ana. Juan Seguin was instrumental in unifying the Tejanos and the Anglos to support the Texas cause for independence. Stephen F. Austin appointed Colonel uh, Captain Seguin in the Texas Army. The captain raised a company of Tejano freedom fighters to support Texas. Seguin fought in all the major battles of the Revolution of Texas, starting with the Battle of Concepcion, the Storm of Bear, and of course the ultimate battle of San Jacinto. He has often been referred to as a Paul Revere of Texas. Seguin sent several of his most trusted men south to, to report back the advancement of San Antonio.
Mamasa Papa and so many others that were so involved and dedicated to this beautiful project. May God bless each and every one of you and may God continue to bless our beautiful Texas. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Terry Baker. She's going to be singing a song of Seguin Lutz, Texas. Terry has been entertaining family, friends, and pretty much anyone in general for most of her life. She is presently the confidence of the Holy Family Parish in Galveston and the lead singer and keyboard player for a local band known as the Reminders. Reminders? Terry Baker. Patriotism means 